Apologies for being late. This is the Eastern Conference Atlantic Division predictions. Last place, Toronto Raptors. They're not, they're not going to be as good as last year. They're not a great team, and they're going to struggle this year. They could prove me wrong. Fourth place is going to be the New York Knicks, another team that's just not that good. Very, very similar to the Raptors, but they're not going to be as bad as them. The Brooklyn Nets are going to finish in third place. They're the most overrated team in the NBA. I just don't see the potential they have. They clearly they had Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, and it, it still won't like not going to work. So they're going to finish. Philadelphia is off to a rough start, but I think they're going to pick that up and get second place. We've seen how good they can be, so it's a, it's a matter of them actually showing us what how good they can be. And Boston Celtics were undefeated. Will stay in first place. I have a feeling that they're going to be better than last year. They have chances to make the championship. Next is the Central Division. So, last place, Detroit Pistons. It's close between them and the Pacers, but I have the Pistons finishing in last. They're just, they're just hard to watch. Um, they're just not a good team at all. They, they're in the middle of their rebuild, same as Pacers, who are going to finish just ahead of them. Um, both teams are actually 1-2, but I feel the Pistons will be a little worse than them. The Pacers are, they're okay, they're, I don't think they're going to be as bad as last year. I think they're going to be a tiny bit better, but not enough to be really, really good. Third place, I have the Chicago Bulls. They will still make the playoffs, I think. Um, they're not going to be as good as last year. Uh, I think last year was just like a shocker, so and they didn't really do that well in the playoffs. With Donovan Mitchell going to the Cleveland Cavaliers, I think that's easily going to put them in second place, giving them all the confidence in the world. Um, they've only played two games, one, one and one, so... Um, Cleveland will definitely finish in second. And then first place, Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis is going to make another run. And I think this will be Giannis's best year in the NBA. And finally, the North, the Southeast, excuse me, last place, Orlando Magic. Obviously, they're, who knows if they're ever going to make it into the postseason again, especially in 10 years. Fourth place, it's going to be close between the Wizards and Hornets, but I have the Hornets. Um, Lamelo Ball, his injuries, getting him off to a rough start, one and one, just not horrible. But I think they should, they could have been two and zero if Lamelo was playing. So third place, Washington Wizards. They're starting out two and zero, so it's a good start. But it's not about how you start; it's about how you end. So the Wizards are gonna finish in third place. It'll be either the Heat or the Hawks that will make first place, and I think the Heat will get to second place. Simply because I think Atlanta with Trey Young, I think Trey Young's gonna have MVP type season. And Miami Heat, they only have Jimmy Butler. Um, that's really it. They don't have too many good like stars on their team, so that's why I'm gonna go with Miami. Bam out of bio is good as well. But Atlanta Hawks, Trey Young, all you need to know. He's gonna be one of the better players on their team, one of the better players in the NBA. So this is Eastern Conference predictions. I put them all in one video. So if you like it, make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and you will see the Western Conference coming out soon.